how are we? Doing well. Thank good, you. good. I uh, love season two of Undone, um, especially I love how we open the door into more of Camila's life. Uh, so, uh, Rafael, if you'd like to talk about getting to know more about Camila this season, I know that the nature of the show means that you didn't really have to have all that information last season when you're creating the world, but did you? And what changed in the writing of her for this season? Uh, well, I'll be honest and say, no, we did not. <laughs> uh, you know, I think the, the nature of making ongoing episodic television is you are kind of figuring it out as you go. and you, you set up certain things and certain character traits and characteristics. And then sometimes a lot of great story comes from asking questions like, why is this person the way she is? Or why is this relationship dynamic working like this, right? And so sometimes in order to justify things you set up just because you thought it would be an interesting dynamic, you then peel back and you discover stuff almost as if it was in there, but it, it wasn't because you just made it up. Um, so, so this season, absolutely one of the, one of the pleasures was getting to go deeper with a lot of our characters, especially Camilla. And, and really talking about what, what mysteries could there be in her past and, and how can we understand her in a different way than from season one, where she is primarily just a foil for Alma and just about her relationship as, as a mother, but who is she as, as a wife and a daughter and a, a, a woman? Absolutely. Uh, and Kate, speaking of Alma, uh, she gets to take a little bit more of like a passenger uh, seat this season because we have uh, Becca also uh, doing a little driving, but uh, Emma's not a very good backseat driver, I guess, or maybe she's a very good backseat driver, but either way, <laughs> what is it like balancing the dynamic between the sisters and how does it change your approach to Becca? Yeah, it's exciting to have the two of them playing off of each other and to have Alma need something from Becca and to have her manipulating Becca the way she knows best uh, based on Becca's personality traits. So Becca likes to help and fix things and be a good daughter and a good person. Um, and she uses that to her own benefit. So I think it's, it's a fun dynamic. It's a complicated dynamic. And Alma also really believes that she's doing it for the best for the family, but also maybe it's because she's a little bit bored and doesn't feel so good about herself and wants a little more sense of purpose and likes having abilities and doing special things. And um, so I, I think having all those dynamics to play and seeing how complicated it really is uh, gives them both quite a bit to be playing throughout the entire season and allows for growth for both of them, both as individuals and also in relationship with each other. Wonderful. Then finally, uh, for each of you, which character did, did you find most exciting to write about this season? Interesting. I mean, it's, it's hard for me know. to separate them out. Um, <laughs> yeah. it, it's well, like so, so much of the show is, is based on the relationships between them, right? It's not just any one character in a vacuum. It's, it's about exploring the different ways they, they, they bounce off each other. Mm -hmm. and, and again, I think one of the nice things about this season is, is allowing them to bounce off each other in ways that aren't necessarily about Alma because so, so much of season one was about her and her relationship with everybody mm -hmm. else. Like she was the center of the wheel and everyone else was a spoke that, that w came off her. And, and so for this season to explore Camilla and Jacob and Camilla and Becca, and uh, Becca and Reed, and uh, these new characters that we introduce over, over the course of the season. Like that was really thrilling and exciting. Absolutely, well, thank you guys so much. Uh, you have done a wonderful job and I cannot wait for the world to witness it. <laughs>